This is a Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. On this one we've done an upgrade and we've actually put a naked Cadix Vista unit in it. We're using the Nebula Nano camera. So in this video we're going to take you through the build process and show you what's involved, all the components, and then in the next video we're going to look at some flight footage. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is take a look at the parts we'll use in this build. First of all we've got the Tracer, so TBS Tracer receiver there. The flight controller board is this one, so it's the JEI MCU, this is the GHF420, and it's the same one we used on the last build with the analog VTX. So this is the, the all-in-one uh, 35 amp. Uh, the reason I'm using the 35 amp one is basically because it's all I could get at the time. So we're going with the 35 amp there. Uh, we've got a 35 volt uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor there. I've got some new motors, so brand new motors there to put on the build. Of course we've got the frame and the all important 20x20 20 20 mount, so that's the mount adapter. Now for the VTX, let's just move this out of the way. Okay, so for the VTX we're using the Cadex Vista, this is the Nano. Now unfortunately we had to go with the Nano here because it's the only camera at the moment they will actually fit into the, the slot. Uh, between the uh, the side plates there in the tiny box. So unfortunately, yep, we had to go with the Nano. All right, let's have a look at weight here. What we're doing is we're using a naked Vista. So we've removed these units here. So these are all the metal parts. Comes to what 7.6 grams approximately. And if we just weigh the final components. Okay, so there's a few extra screws there as well. So 8.1, let's call it 8.5 grams. So a bit of a weight sa saving there, going to the, the Naked Vista. Right, so that's all the parts. We'll have a look at the, the first part, which is actually preparing the frame with all, all the standoffs. At this point, we've got the adapter plate actually mounted to the frame there. We'll just have a look at it. And there's a close-up look. So we're using 18 millimeter bolts here, and of course they're M2 bolts. The next part is to actually mount the flight controller, and I'm going to pre-wire that, and then mount it on, we'll have a look at it. So there we go. Flight controller is mounted, and most of the wiring is soldered on, and we'll just have a look at that. The wire that you can see here, these, these wire bundles here, this is for the tracer receiver. Okay, so we're using UART6 there. So that's going to go off in, in that direction. If we have a look around the back, we've got the motor wires, the battery wires, sorry, soldered there. Of course, all the motor wires soldered up. And just coming around to the front here. Okay, at the front, we're using the 9 volt. This is, uh, this is for the video transmitter. This is for the Calyx Vista. And over here we've got TX and RX, so that's, UR, that's on UART 3 for the Cadex Vista. Okay, so that's the wiring pretty much done. A little bit of an explanation of how this is going to go together here. We've got the Cadex Vista unit, so I've got it in two parts here. What we're going to do is actually mount the, the bottom part on like this, and you'll notice the, the camera wire is actually going to come out the back. So this is the back of the, the quad, so it's going to come over here towards the front. And the top part, we've got a connector there, they'll need to be connected. Uh, actually, before I do that, we've got 4mm brass spacers here. So these 4mm spacers are going to go onto the bolts there. And then, okay, so the top plate of the Vista is going to go on this way. And you'll notice that the, the connection for the antenna is up the front here. So the antenna, okay, the antenna there is actually going to lay across the Vista unit towards the back, towards the back here. Okay, and that's the way we're going to attach the Vista unit. So we'll do that and come back and then have a look at it. Well, there we go, we've got the stack completed, like that. Let's have a bit of a look at it. So here we go, we've got the 28 AWG wires coming out the front here of the flight controller. That's going onto the Cadex Vista unit. And these ones here, this will be for the receiver, the tracer receiver. 
just going down to the side there. Okay, that's what the stack looks like. And the next thing we're going to look at is the antenna. So of course the antenna is actually going to be mounting here and coming back towards the back and somehow that's going to have to mount, to mount there. So of course to mount the antenna we're going to need some sort of mount. Uh, I use one of these battery mounts. So this is a connector, battery connector mount and we have the battery, the XT30 battery connector there. And the Cadex Vista comes with one of these pieces. Okay, so this actually just okay, mounts like that. If you'll focus. Okay, so basically we're going to make a, a battery mount adapter like this and one that's going to actually fit the Cadex antenna. So we'll see how we do that. A template here for the Cadex Vista. That's the antenna mount and this is the XT30. So we're just going to arrange them here on the battery mount. And the next thing we need to do is actually just convert that to G-code so we can cut that out. So this little process here to convert it to G-code. And we'll have a look at the G-code there. Okay, we'll just do a little test run. Just with the straight with the G-code. Just checking that everything works properly. So that's how it's going to work. Alright, and here's the completed unit. So that's it all finished there. We've got the XT30 battery connector and the antenna mount. And we'll have a bit of a, a close-up at that. Okay, so there's the connector there. Underneath we've got the XT30. And you can see we're using M2, M2 nuts to hold it all on. Okay, so that's the connector. Alright, so there's the stack mounted there and we've got our metal standoffs here. So I'll just have a little close-up of it. Okay, so that's how it looks at the moment. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is look at mounting the camera. Okay, so because the stack is so high, basically what we're doing is we're using 18 millimeter standoffs, these ones here. The standard ones are 15 millimeters like this. And you can see the problem straight away is that the side plates for the camera are actually not going to be tall enough if we use the 18 mil standoffs. Okay, so what we need to actually do is we need to actually stretch these Okay, pull the top and stretch them a little bit to make them taller. And we'll have a look at the process to do that on the computer. The process is really quite easy. We just want to grab the top part of the side plate and just move it up about three millimeters. And also we might want to move the camera hole up a little bit too. And then we just join the sides up. And then we've stretched it from 15 millimeters to 18 millimeters. There we go, we're all ready. One final look before we put the top plate on. I'll just put this on the bench and we'll, we'll have a good look around it. Having a close up look here, we can see this is the mount that we've actually printed. Okay, just uh, let's cut with a laser cutter there. So this is actually made from FR4 fiberboard. It's, it's quite strong. It's almost as strong as carbon. And that'll do the job at the front there. It's actually been redesigned a little bit to give a little bit more protection up the front for the longer lens of the, uh, the Cadex unit. Okay, so coming back along the side here, we can see just down here we've got the tracer receiver. And it's actually strapped down onto the frame there with the antenna coming out the side here. Okay, the antennas come down and they're mounted underneath the, the rear strut here. Okay, up the top we've got the, we've got the Cadex Vista, naked uh, Cadex Vista unit, and of course the antenna coming back here. And the mount is there. So we'll just go around the frame and just have a quick look. Okay, plenty of wire length out the back. I could have made the wires shorter, but... Uh, Better too long than too short.
Okay, so there it is, all ready to put the top plate on. So there it is, all done. It's been quite a challenging build, but I've really enjoyed it. A bit of a close-up look there. And I'll be uploading some flight videos very soon, so make sure you check them out.